Yo. So who is that woman? Her? Oh. Just a friend. Hmm. Yeah, what kind of friend, huh? Yeah, good. Look, if Kubra heard this, she'd be upset. I hung out with her once while buzzed. She got her hooks into me. Hmm. She probably came to try her luck one last time. Okay, man. So then, what's up with you? Well, I accepted Matei's dad's job offer. I start on Monday. Wow. For your sake. I hope they pay you a lot. <laughs> Me too. I hope so. Nice. And, uh, arrange something for me to meet Matei. Look, you know all of my circle of friends. I should get to know yours, too. Yeah? What's up, brother? Why'd you call us over here at this time in the morning? The one who snitched on us was Sadula. Uh, but how? The guards of the truck... He informed the transport company. He told Ghoul that himself. I swear to you. No. <clears throat> I'll, I'll deal with this, all right? He'll learn when I make that store of his explode. Give up on these childish games. I won't let God take that man away from me so easily now. I have something big on my mind. We'll make Sadala regret the day he was born. And we'll also take over the business as well. Amir, I'm so sorry to bother you on a Sunday, but I just couldn't stay at the pension. I can't stay anywhere recently. I'm having a bad feeling about something. I don't know. Look, I've already told you that this is your house too, all right? In fact, you could leave the pension and move here. Anyway, I have to finish this ironing. Hold on a sec. Ooh, one question. Are you hungry at all? I'm not hungry, Amir, but how are you ironing that shirt? Leave it. For God's sake, it's becoming even more wrinkled. <laughs> no, stop. Stop, stop. But I can... No, leave it. Just please stop. No. You can't iron. All right. Uh, then I'll brew some tea. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 